Aaron C, Aaron Douglas, you guys are both right on time as usual. Uh. All right, let's rock. So I am at the Van Dusen Botanical Garden here in Vancouver, Canada. I just got here, just walked in the door. Here's the visitor center right behind me. Anyways, it's supposed to be a really large botanical garden that even has a hedge maze, uh, which I am going to go and see if we can find and I can share that with you. So, let's see what we can find. You hate Kev TV, no content there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Kev TV. He's He's been having some choice words recently. I've never been here guys, so I have no idea where we're going. I do have a map in my pocket, but I think it'll be better to just wing it. I got a general idea where it's at. Uh, what's up there, road trip? Anywho, yeah, old Kev TV made a little response to me in his video yesterday. He was, uh, saying just how negative I was and you know how I didn't reach out to him and if if I was a real friend I would have come by his home and given him a hug before I left for Canada you know real friends don't just leave the United States without you know, coming over and saying goodbye. I was like, what the fuck, man? Is he gay or what? Do you really think I was going to come around and give him a little hug or something before, uh, before I left? <laughs> well, the weather is nice right now for, for the moment. It's supposed to start raining tonight early this afternoon this is going to be a quick tour because I cannot stay very long we got some stuff to do today me and Helica are going to be returning that car um, so from here on out for the rest of my time here I'll be taking public transportation I don't know if you guys noticed there's these Christmas lights down there in the ground at Christmas time. I guess they, uh, this was uh, all lit up with Christmas lights. Unfortunately, I did not get to come and see any of that. Um, yeah, I'm going to try and go through that maze for sure. Anyways, about Kev. Kevin wrote a post on his community tab uh, claiming, you know, he didn't want all this negativity and blah, 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 and that I should have reached out to him regarding this. Well, you know, I love how the way, how moss grows on these trees here and ferns and stuff that grow off of the bark. What's up there, West Coast girl? Still in Hawaii? What's up there, Nelia? How are you? Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, his community tab. He said, oh yeah, you know, Jimmy should have reached out to me and he never did. And then of course his, 
his moderator also chimed in and said that he had left a lengthy, clear message to me and the viewers on my channel. Well, has anybody seen any message from this pocket change guy? No. You know why? Because there was never a message left. Guy is full of shit. He's lying to the community. Also, Kev was lying to his whole viewership, his community, saying that I didn't reach out to him. You know, it was he that had a problem. It was he that demoted me. Uh, and he did it without saying anything to me. However, I did. This is actually, I love, I love this green, the moss and stuff. I, uh, I did reach out to him. In fact, I've still got the direct message that I sent him on Instagram. Uh, but again, he lied to his community and said, oh yeah, he never wrote me, never even said anything. Full of shit. Anyway, so, whatever. Kev is a two-faced lion son of a bitch. Hi. So, yeah, I won't be over on Kev's channel anymore. <laughs> say the least. Anyways, that's about all I got to say about that. Uh, you know, I think I said everything that I needed to say in the video the other day. The only thing I really had to add was that now he's, you know, he's lying to his community and still talking about me. He went on and on in his video about how I made a 40 minute video, but then he kept talking about me throughout his entire video. But, uh, whatever. Whatever. So, let's see what you guys have to say here. Oscar Butts, what's up? Where's the lot lizard? Huh? I told you last time when I was through with your mother, I dropped her off on the bus stop. That was the last time I seen her. So, stop asking me about your mom, bro. I don't know where she is. This is it, this is, this is the uh, Japanese garden, but this is it. This is all you get for a Japanese garden, huh? Well, that is not much of a Japanese garden. No problem, Shell. Yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to walk around here, give you guys a view, this kind of a, a chill stream, just going to show you what I see. I'm guessing this rock over here is supposed to be some kind of artwork, I don't know. Jimmy, do I want to return and go visit Bjorn and Blade in Las Vegas? No. <laughs> I'm not like every other streamer who will run to leech off of whoever might have more viewers or subscribers or whatever. Okay, that's kind of weird. Just... I gotta kinda ask myself, why? Why would somebody make that? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> What's up there, Joel? How are you doing? This grass is really wet and soggy. So much rain here in Vancouver constantly 
and it's supposed to be like a hundred percent chance it's gonna start raining again later this afternoon hopefully we'll be able to get all the way around this garden uh, before it starts raining plus I gotta get home and run some errands so I'm thinking I'm probably gonna spend no more than like a an hour here another uh, rock art thing with some faces on it yeah you know we drove by here trooper a couple times when they had the lights out front and i could tell it was really cool but yeah we just never made it i think it was it was raining all the time you know it rained like every day for i don't even know how long i first got here look at that porta potty isn't that fucking awesome I guess you gotta have them out here somewhere. Somebody needs to take a leak. It'd be better to have them doing it in the porta potties rather than pissing in the bushes. Uh, maze is this way. All right, let's do it. Get up a little trail here. See if we can find anything. I did not see Kobe while living in Los Angeles. Uh, however, I did see Magic Johnson. Now this must be the herb garden. <coughs> um, yeah, I used to do demolition in the high-rise buildings in Century City and Beverly Hills. And, uh, I seen, uh, Magic Johnson in one of the towers down there. What's up there, Captuna? Right next to Queen Elizabeth Park. Yeah, I seen that. <clears throat> I, uh, was doing, like, a search for botanical gardens here in Vancouver and I seen that that one was free because it's a park um but Helica told me this is probably the more popular destination as far as botanical gardens so I decided I would come over here and check this out take us for a little stroll through the garden I wish I'd have brought some weed, man. Sit down, smoke out. <laughs> It'd be a great place to get high. Maybe this whole section is like uh, part of the Japanese gardens. Yeah, this is a Japanese maple tree. Unfortunately, since we're in winter, there's no leaves or anything on it. Meditation garden. Just the getting high garden. Sell patron, I have no idea what you're talking about. Am I getting tired of Vancouver weather yet? Uh, you know, it does put a little bit of a damper on me getting out and doing things. Uh, I wouldn't say that I dislike uh, being here in Vancouver because of the weather, though. I do wish it was more sunny, but I understand I've just, I came at the wrong time of year for this, so, um, 
I do have to take advantage of the uh, the good weather like today if we can call this good weather and uh, get out and make the most of it Well, I don't know nothing about Nelia and that situation you're talking about. I could really care less. I'm not a big fan of EBC either. <clears throat> oh, I'm going the wrong way for the maze. Let's take this path down. Uh, The order is leaching hard off a blade. Uh, we, well, you know, I think those two really use each other. They both have good viewership. Uh, they both make good money. Um, and they're friends, so, you know, it works out for the both of them. Oh, man, it really smells good here in this garden. Uh, really, really good, actually. I'd really kind of like to just hang out here for like a really long time, but ooh, there's some, well, I guess it was squirrels. There's some wildlife out here. So yesterday I'm driving, <clears throat> I think it was yesterday, I'm driving and uh, coming down a side street and I see something run out in front of the car. I'm like, what the hell is that? So I like step on the brakes thinking that, what is that? Is that a mushroom? I have to see. I have to get glo closer. Hobo investigates. I don't know what the hell that is. It looks like a mushroom. to stay on the path have some fucking grandma yelling at me uh oops oh so yeah the uh <clears throat> the thing that ran across the road that I applied my brakes for to avoid hitting Turned out to be a friggin' rat. <laughs> the rats here are huge in Vancouver, man. Seriously huge. In fact, I seen a couple in the backyard at uh, Helica's place just uh, over the last couple of days. So they must have them all over the place here. Let me see. How do I get back over to that trail? Um. Yeah, there's some squirrels. It looks like oh, they're there. Um, what you might call it? Uh, ground squirrels running around here. And right in this one area here. There's something that smells really good. I, I don't see what it is. I don't see any flowers or berries or anything like that. What's up there, Racer Tracer? What's up, at expat at large? say those rats are good eating in Southeast Asia they eat rat I did not have any while there but they do eat them I was actually uh, I think I told Helica that the rats are on par with the size of the rats in Cambodia
Here's the Megis. Pick up the pace here a little bit. Yeah, it smells really good in here. I wish I lived a place that smelled this good. What do they call these chairs? I've seen one bigger. My daughters go to the summer camp that has one of these. It's huge. You're all for supporting your Afrocentric streamers? Right on. You get on down with your bad self. Expat, I think this is the maze right there. And I wonder if this is the entrance. Oh yeah, maze entrance right there's a sign. All right, well. Let's see if we can find our way to the center and then find our way out. <clears throat> This must be the entrance. Exit. It's the exit, not the entrance. There's the entrance. Amazing mazes. Um, this doesn't tell me. There's not even a, a map of the maze, so I could try and figure out where it is that I'm going. I guess I just have to enter and hope I can find my way out. <clears throat> All right, here we go, my first hedge maze. Let's see if we can find our way through the maze. Hi. Nope, not that way. <laughs> Why am I thinking of the shining right now? If this was covered in snow, go running through. Danny! Danny boy! I'm coming for you, Danny! I didn't even go around this thing, so I have no idea just how big this maze is. I don't even know what the goal is. I'm imagining that there's like a, a center to this maze. No, I wasn't saying that there was a race thing with um, what you said. Uh, Expat at Large was saying that he likes to support his Afrocentric IRL streamers. And I just said, whatever, go for it. You know, support whoever you want. Uh, had nothing to do with race. So, yeah, what was going on with me and... Cav TV. Uh, I'm not even really sure what what was going on there with me and Kev TV because Kev has been claiming over and over and over <clears throat> that I said something to insult him and hurt his sensitive little feelings because he's repeated over and over that I um, he lost all respect for me 
due to me saying he looked like a fat Asian pervert that used to come to the strip club that I worked at. <laughs> now, I may have said something like that. I honestly don't know. Um, but had I said something like that, it was absolutely 100% a complete joke. Uh, I'm going to end up getting lost in this motherfucker. <laughs> um, I, uh, I was not insulting him. I mean, if he took it as an insult, well, that's on him. But, uh, I didn't do anything to him purposely. But I guess he got butt hurt because I must have made a comment that upset him. And, uh, well, then we got what we got. He, uh unmodded me on his channel he wasn't able to say anything to communicate with me but he claimed that i was the uh, the one unable to communicate with him and if i had a problem i should have said something when in fact that all that stuff was the exact opposite and then you know with him lying to his whole community saying you know oh you know, uh, Jimmy never reached out to me. Uh, Jimmy just personally attacked. Jimmy said I was a fat Asian pervert. All of which is not true. Uh, all this shit's on him. I, honestly, I don't care anymore. It's like no sweat off my back. He's free to do whatever he wants. Be whoever he wants to be eat as much food as he wants, walk around the streets of Los Angeles as much as he wants, go and leech off other streamers for viewers and subscribers, donos, whatever. Uh, gotta do what you gotta do, I guess, to grow that channel, right? Instead of providing the original content that's another thing I hate about IRL streamers is that uh, when they get together like in these streamer houses or whatever and there's you know five six people all standing around with their phones their cameras rolling it's like okay well you guys are all providing the same content you're just giving us different angles why don't you fucking go do something by yourself, provide us a little bit of content, instead of just standing in the same room with everybody else. So I, at this point, I think what the point of this maze is, is to find the exit. <clears throat> Maybe this is the center because this is kind of a this is the largest area I have found so far. That was another thing too, actually, looking back at your guys' comments, we were talking about racial stuff. Kev said that I also said some other racial stuff to him. Uh, ooh, <clears throat> which is, again, not true. I think you guys that have been watching my channel long enough would say, you would all say, that I'm not racist and I'm not saying racist things. But, uh, okay, well, I did it. I entered and I exited. So the maze is done. All right, let's keep this adventure rolling. Uh, but yeah, he said that I um, said some other racist things. And again, uh, I did not say any racist shit. Don't know why he's accusing me of such. I'm guessing maybe uh, it's just like a personal attack to, I don't know, make people dislike me maybe. Who knows? This is kind of cool. Imagine having a bridge like this at your house. A little water going underneath the stone like that. I like it. Let's go across. 
I hope my fat ass doesn't break this boulder. So, I know that there were some people on my channel that actually, I, I can't remember what was said, but I think they did say something to the effect about uh, Cab being Asian and his upbringing and something about him just being Asian. There was something wrong with him or some shit like that. And I do remember defending him even, and I said, look... The dude was adopted. He was raised by a white family. So, you know, what you're doing is stereotyping Kev. Um, and in fact, he's not, you know, however that person made him out. I'm guessing these are sunflowers, huh? Yeah, sunflowers. They're all fucking dead. It's too bad these weren't live. My daughter would love this. Anyway, it's enough about Kev. Let's try and make it enough. Uh, am I going to get stuck over here? Yeah, definitely. You know, if I come back over here again, I'm going to have to bring a little weed. <laughs> I'm guessing the water is coming up here through that pool. Yeah, there's uh, Matthew. He uh, he decided that he was going to uh, take Kev's side. Matthew's been around for a while, but apparently Matthew has some special feelings inside for Kev and you know he's gonna come over here and leave stupid comments like Jimmy's a pedophile like anybody's going to believe you Matthew get a little more original if you're gonna fucking troll say something that people might actually believe Uh, Matthew, he goes by Matthew, God of War, and some other names. Uh, he's been around for quite some time, but I guess now he's said that he's going to start trolling me. All right, let's go check this area out down here. Oh. Doesn't look like there's anything going on down here. This was a waterfall area, but no water running down here. Maybe I'll find a different path to take. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> Back. Well, thank you for stopping by, Harry. I appreciate it. Should I go down this way? Kind of looks like there's nothing over there because it's residence over there. I mean, there's definitely a trail and stairs that go down over here. Probably goes along that way. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Let's. I've never been here. Let's go and just explore a little bit. What's up there, New Wave fan? So I totally forgot. <clears throat> I'm thinking I'm going to go back to that um, 
new moderators for every stream option. Uh, because we've had some uh, trouble, shall we say, with some moderators recently, uh, I think easy way to weed them out is to uh, get rid of all the moderators. Just have new moderators every time. Maybe I'll keep some, a couple of the people that I have had around for a really long time, but I want to greatly reduce the number of moderators again because it's become quite clear that um, there are people that are working against me. Uh, are those little buds on top of those things, those leaves? I don't know. Flip flop mods, yeah. They're your friend one minute and not your friend the next. That happens in life. <laughs> no doubt about that. I think, you know, I've said this before, that I think YouTube kind of brings out the worst in some people. Some people are, they come on this platform, and since they're anonymous, they don't show their face, and they just make up a name. You can see some of the worst human behavior on YouTube. But then again, like I've also said, there are some um, some great people on YouTube. No doubt there's some fantastic people on YouTube. Uh, let's see. Shall we take the path? Path? How about this one? Is this a path? I think it is. Nobody said you're in the middle of anything, New Wave fan. Uh, I did get your message, I think, the other night that uh, <clears throat> I think I went to bed and forgot to respond to you. That was some cool looking ivy, actually. But uh, yeah, just because you're a moderator on Kev's channel and you were a moderator on this channel, uh, that really doesn't pose a conflict of interest to me. You guys are free to go and watch whoever you want, other streamers. It's not like I'm saying, hey, dude, you're one of my watchers, man. You watch my channel and you can't watch anybody else's, bro. Not saying that at all. But I did have a moderator that came into the channel the other night who started banning... Uh, lots of my regular viewers and causing drama on my channel so yeah that I don't like that's very uh, aggravating not cool especially since I didn't do anything to any of my moderators in fact I've always praised my moderators at doing a great job on my channel but uh, you know I guess maybe uh, maybe they're all upset about the what happened with Kev TV? Or maybe I said something. Maybe I called somebody a fat Asian pervert and didn't know it. And you took offense and decided that you would come over and start blocking and deleting all my uh, my subscribers. I don't know. He banned you too, huh? Unmodded you, rather. That's a shame. For no reason. No explanation. I mean, that's what he did to me. No explanation. Just, bro, you're demodded. You're out of here. Waterfall. I'm guessing that was the thing I was walking beside that wasn't working. 
Let's see what time is it here. I still got about a half hour. Totem poles. Let's go see some totem poles. For some reason, I really like these totem poles that I've seen here in Vancouver. This would be a great place to camp out. Hop the fence, pitch a tent, bring your fishing pole. <laughs> Why not? Road Trip Eddie is not a moderator. Well, Road Trip Eddie is now a moderator. <clears throat> so what happened the other day, guys, what, I, what caused uh, me to remove a bunch of moderators already was that I, um, <coughs> I was streaming and then all these people started getting blocked and removed from my channel and so I knew the only one that could do this as a moderator so I ended up removing all the mods on my channel to prevent any more blocking of my viewers and then I added some back I didn't add them all back because I was streaming I didn't want to keep taking the time out to add back those that I thought needed to or should be uh, mods on my channel and anyway so that's why you might see some people in the chat that don't have the wrench anymore because I just forgot to remod them or whatever but I um, I think I'm definitely going to end up reducing the mods again just so that uh, Just so that I uh, have peace of mind on my channel. Uh, plus, you know, I get so many complaints from people that say, Oh, this moderator does this, and this moderator does that, and this person's not fair to me. And if I, <laughs> if I have a different moderator, different, multiple different moderators, each stream, then... I don't have to. Uh, I don't have to worry about anybody complaining because you'll have new moderators on the next stream. You know what I mean? Plus, you know, then everybody gets to participate in the stream and whatnot. So the, the totem poles are right here. I'm going to show them to you, and then I'm going to try and take a picture of myself with my phone so the screen. <clears throat> when I use my camera, the screen usually freezes. So. That doesn't mean that the uh, the stream has stopped. Um, it's just that I'm taking a picture of myself amongst these totem poles, which are right here. Let me turn this around for you. Hey guys, don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the videos. On this video, rather. All right, let me snap a photo. Let me get out my, uh, so my phone has a stylus. I use a Samsung Note 10. <clears throat> and the, sorry, the stylus can be used, this thing, my job, can be used as a remote control to take a photograph. It's got a button on here. I don't know if you can see this little button, but I can actually activate my camera. I could begin filming or I can just snap a photograph if I want. So I am going to, you guys are going to get the view of the ground while I use my camera to snap a photo. So it's probably going to freeze the screen for a minute. I 
wish those people would go away because I'm thinking about uh, doing a bare ass. Here's one picture. There's two pictures. Uh, let me uh, close the camera and get back to you guys. And turn the camera around, make sure everything is working. Looks good. So, yeah, I wish these people would walk down the path because I kind of want to take a picture of myself with my ass hanging out between the uh, totem poles. Maybe they're going to walk back past me. Oh, is that a building over there? I don't know if there'll be somebody in the building when I'm showing my ass. Kind of very nice, though, huh? Tranquil. The birds, the ducks. Hi. Okay, there's a really cool owl over here that I wouldn't probably take a picture of too that I'm going to show you guys. Hurry along. Hurry along. Get the fuck out of here. I need to show my ass. Kind of a cool little artsy thing. But check out this owl. Let me turn the camera around for you. Oh, fuck. Super muddy over here. I'm going to try and get a picture of this, too. Um, so you guys are going to look at the ground again while I snap a photo. You guys want to see these photos, if you uh, join me on uh, Instagram, you would be able to see these. Oh, my. Uh, ground is a long ways down. got several photographs. Let me close that. What's up there, Tester Doodle? What is the uh, owl made of? Here, let me give you a close-up look of this thing. It's wood. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to show me. Yeah, that's wood. Very thin wood, cheap wood. But, very cool, huh? Kind of like to get another picture of this by itself. <laughs> Hold on. And I want one more. Yeah. All right, now. <laughs> All right, I gotta do the money shot. I'm going to take a picture of my ass hanging out between the totem poles just because I like to have a little fun like that sometimes. Shut up, you. I'm gonna take off my backpack. Let me get my little pen thingy out of here. Uh, let me. 
here you guys will probably get to see this too maybe possibly I don't know if the screen has been freezing uh, when I use the camera or not that's usually what happens but let's see <laughs> yes all right you guys have to uh, <laughs> maybe i'll put that one on discord tell me if you guys see that <laughs> i can't help myself sometimes oh it froze the whole time okay well i took the picture and uh I'll share it somewhere, but uh, I took a picture like uh, a couple places entering into different states, you know, and it says like, welcome to California or whatever, and I stop and I drop my pants and I take a picture of myself next to the sign showing my ass. Uh, <clears throat> let's go down this other path over here, shall we? Heart must be bugging me today because I'm feel a little dizzy. I need to go home, take a pill. Freezes for about four seconds. Huh. Well, it's still pretty darn cool that you can use both cameras at the same time. Well, I guess it's not being used at the same time since one freezes. But I can keep the stream rolling and still stop and take a picture. That's pretty cool in my book. Alright, i got to start making my way back to the front gate so I can get back to the house. Because i got to run some errands with... Helica, and we got to return that car. And uh, I don't know what's going to happen tonight. Uh, I'll continue streaming or not. If I'm going to cut this off and just go home, we'll see and think about it. Take a nature dump. <laughs> Yeah, this would be a great place for that, huh? No, Shiny wasn't filmed here. I, uh, I read up on that, and I want to say that they filmed at two hotels. I think it was one was in California and one was in Oregon. But I went to the Stanley Hotel in Colorado, which is in uh, Estes Park, and I spent the night there. And I went because I thought that that was where they had filmed uh, The Shining. But, in fact, that's where Stephen King came up with the idea for The Shining. But the hotel is uh, said to be or rumored to be haunted in fact i took a, a tour a haunted tour of of that uh, of the hotel in fact i stayed next to a room that was supposed to have the most um what do you call it ghost activity i guess okay i can see the front right over there so feel like I, I didn't get to see a lot here. Uh, 
Very nice, very nice. I could just like sit down right there, smoke a doobage, relax, chill, everybody take a deep breath. Yeah, I remember the guy in Mexico tried to sell me his puppies. <laughs> I should have never opened my window. But whatever. Uh, yeah, Mexico one month, Canada another. Yeah. I've actually... This is the fourth country that I've visited since starting YouTube. One of those rock artwork thingma jobs. Okay, I already walked on this trail over here, so I'm going to. This is retarded. It looks like it's like it's uh, like a tumor or something growing on top of this square stone. I'm gonna go back down the road I was on. <clears throat> when do you come back to the U.S.? Uh, soon, very soon. Um, my whole plans, my whole life, everything is kind of up in the air right now. I don't know what the fuck is going on, to be quite honest. Uh, hopefully, ideally, <clears throat> I'll be going back to the States to hang out with my daughters for a while. And then meeting up with Helica to go travel somewhere whether on a cruise or I could give a shit less I mean I would I would settle just for going down to Mexico I just want to go somewhere and spend some quiet time with her house alone somewhere uh, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen um Helica has a few things going on in her life, which I'm not going to tell you guys about, but uh, it's, uh, how shall I say, leaving our plans to be uncertain for the future. <clears throat> so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. Um, I'm going to take it as it comes, hope for the best. Uh, worst case scenario, uh, I could end up going, I, actually I don't even know what a worst case scenario, scenario is. I shouldn't even try and guess because, <laughs> trust me, I've had some fucked up shit happen in my life and it could always get worse believe me kind of want to walk across the grass to go look at this thing over here but See the grass is like super muddy, really damp. I don't want to sink in the friggin' mud. Uh, well, see, we're. I think it was Racer Tracer was asking if Helico was going to move with me. Um, yeah, that was the plan. Um, Helica was going to relocate to San Diego. We we're going to move together down there. But now she's not sure if that relocation is going to happen. So we don't know uh, where she'll be living. And <clears throat> so that leaves me also with uncertainty. I have no idea where I'd be living. Uh, 
Hoyas over here. They're not that big though. Not yet, anyways. Let's see if I can find my way out of this place. I know we gotta be here on the other side of the lake by now. St. Louis, come get a job. Oh, there's that thing. I'm glad I didn't walk across the grass to see that. Yeah, there's so many lights here on the grounds and the trees. I'm sure this must have looked awesome during Christmas time. All lit up. Do the same thing every day with no progression, meaning that your life is static. Is that what you're talking about? Well, I don't want to say how I can. I mean... I think that's something that we should talk about when I uh, get back to the house, which I am coming back here shortly, but I, um, you know, I've said I don't want to give away too many personal details about your life or my life. Is that not the weirdest friggin' tree you've ever seen in your life? I have never seen anything like that. <clears throat> Anyway, so Helica is moving to San Diego 100%. That sounds awesome to me. I hope I'm going too. Uh, yeah, San Diego would be ideal. Uh, it's better in Los Angeles, in my opinion. Better weather. Not as crowded, doesn't cost as much money. Uh, numerous uh, things that are better about San Diego, in my personal opinion. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. Seen it all, been there, done that. But uh, every time I go to San Diego, I think, wow, this is so much nicer in Los, Los Angeles. <clears throat> Yes, Helica, that is what I was talking about. So, Helica may be changing her job. And since she's already mentioned this now in the chat, I didn't want to mention it myself. But yeah, Helica, Helica would like to go to work for a different company. And so, I was assuming that uh, if she went to work with this other company that... You know, that might change the entire plans of moving to San Diego uh, because, you know, maybe they want her to move somewhere else or whatever. I have no idea. Yeah. I really think this shit's fucking cool. I don't know about you, but I do find this really cool. New herb strain. Why is there a ladder over there? Is that like a makeshift bridge? You guys see this?
Luke Westwood, glad you could make it, buddy. Nice shot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, upcoming stream, probably Sunday. Depends upon what happens. Uh, Helica wants me to get a, what's it called? A penis. She wants me to pierce my dick. It's called a fernum or frenum or something like that. And uh, I'm like, yeah, well, maybe we could do it for the content. We can stream it. So, and there's another one. I forget the name of it. But um, it's another piercing between your sack in your anus. Uh, she's trying to talk me into doing. And I I kind of said, yeah, you know, Helica, if you do me this favor tonight, then I will go ahead and I will get that piercing for you. <laughs> but anyways, this frenum or fernum or whatever it's called, isn't this cool where I'm walking through between these rocks and this tree over the top? It's like a canopy. Uh, <clears throat> it's supposed to give more sexual pleasure. Not only for the man, but for the woman. So, yeah. Touch. Uh, <laughs> piercing. Piercing my dick. And uh, close to the tank. Uh, so, yeah, we were saying we were get Helica to film me and show what I can on stream without getting banned. So, I have seen people just last night getting these piercings uh, on YouTube showing their dicks. Now, I'm supposing that they're saying, well, you know, we're just showing this for medical reasons or whatnot. Uh, maybe that's how they're able to get away with it. Now, if I do a long stream, an IRL stream, and I end up going into this tattoo piercing shop and get my dick pierced and my, I don't even know what you would call the, that forbidden zone between your sack and your asshole, but... Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I went and did that and then kept stream going and it wasn't all about the piercing if they would allow me to get away with that. They might say, uh, no, what you're doing is like of a sexual content or of a sexual nature. And if that's the case, they could ban me. I mean, they could kick me from YouTube if I show my dick, <laughs> quite simply. So we'll see. Have I always talked this way? Yes, this is not the Disney Channel. I cuss quite frequently. I talk about sex. I talk about sex acts. I, you will hear it all on this channel. This definitely is not the Disney Channel. If you're easily offended, you probably want to find another channel. Because I do have a dirty potty mouth. <laughs> and, uh, it is, I am who I am. You know, if you can't handle that, then I suggest you go to another channel. Because we talk about everything on this channel. Pretty much, there, there's nothing that's ever held back on this channel or my other one. I share my entire life on uh, YouTube. And I share the good, the bad, the ugly, and the perverted. This is homie doing 
Yeah, there are literally loads of videos with uh, people showing sexual organs or parts or whatever. But those videos are always specifically about that subject matter. And since I will be going and doing more than just that, um, you know, I, I'm just worried that I, I'm going to get my channel banned or something. Uh, get a strike or something like that. If that, that happens, then no more videos. That would not be cool. All right, peeps. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, I think at this point I'm going to end the stream. I'd love to come back here and see more. There's a whole whole section of this garden over here that I haven't even seen yet. So this was actually really cheap. It was $8.60 for the entry. There's no charge for parking. Uh, they do have a couple of restaurants here. Let me see if I could show you guys around a little bit more before I turn this off. So they have a little cafe here. I think there's another uh, restaurant inside as well. Uh, I don't know what else is in here. I didn't really look around. Maybe we'll, I'll take a quick peek before we head out. I didn't start the stream until after I uh, entered Discovery Room. What will we discover? A moon? Too bad there's somebody not here with me. Mushrooms. You guys want to visit the bathroom? Take a look in their, their shop. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, thanks. Uh, why is this a lot of girly stuff? Is it because females enjoy gardening more than males? I enjoy a nice garden, but I don't see anything in here that I would buy. Alright then, so that's it. That is the Van Dusen Botanical Garden in Vancouver, Canada. Thank you for watching. <coughs> Alright guys, so I'm going to let you go now. Uh, we'll see if I come back on later. have no idea, uh, but I got shit to do today, so... I will let you guys go now. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully, I'll see you guys again soon in the next video. All right. Everyone have a good day. See ya. I'm out.